Hello, good day everyone. I think I'll start today's devotional with a question. Are you finding yourself dreaming of and planning future activities for yourself, family, and friends through the rest of 2021? I know I am. Marlena and I are planning out our future activities for this summer, this fall, and winter of 2021, and frankly into 2022. Not surprisingly, our calendar is filling up. This represents quite the change from the last 12 months, where after a couple canceled events, we moved into short-range planning, only looking forward several weeks, and if we got really crazy, looking forward a month. As we've moved back into this long-range planning, the Lord prompted me to take a moment and reflect on what's occurred during the past 12 months, during the course of this pandemic. As I slowed down and began reviewing the year, the Lord drew my attention to the importance of listening to Him, obeying Him, following Him, and persevering in His strength as He leads me, leads us through these times, which continue to be full of change, challenges, difficulties, and opportunities. During the past six weeks, I've had the opportunity to serve on two short-term mission teams at our church sent to the Mission Hills, uh, Mission Springs, excuse me, Christian Camp in the Santa Cruz Mountains and to Gleanings for the Hungry in the California Central Valley. This was my first opportunity to serve at both of these ministries, which have been faithfully obeying God and following Him for decades, and in the case of Mission Springs, for nearly a hundred years. Even in the face of significant change over the course of their ministries, these organizations, their staff, their missionaries, their volunteers have faithfully obeyed God, following Him, trusting Him, and pers persevering in His strength as they serve the people and the communities God has asked them to serve. Through their faithfulness and trust in God, He continues to use them for His purposes, blessing people with what they need and with the good news of His Son, Jesus Christ. God, through His Word, the Bible, teaches us how to obey Him, trust Him, follow Him, and remain in relationship with Him through Christ. Each of us have verses in Scripture which God has drawn us to, and when we're under stress and need help and encouragement to obey Him, follow Him, and faith and trust, we turn to these Scriptures. I'd like to share several Scriptures on faith, prayer, perseverance, and trust in the Lord all critical in our development and practice of obedience and perseverance. First, faith. Second Peter chapter 1, verses 5-7 through seven. Make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness mutual affection, and to mutual affection love. For prayer, Romans chapter 12, verse 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. For perseverance, Galatians chapter 6, verses 9 through 10. Let us not become weary of doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. And finally, trust in the Lord. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 through 23. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Word of God is full of love and concern for us, drawing us to Him and into His presence. He gives us the mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional strength to obey and follow Him as we lead our families, organizations, churches, and communities, all in the name of Jesus, glorifying our Heavenly Father. I encourage you, as you begin dreaming and planning for the rest of this year and beyond, take a moment, reflect on the lessons learned during the 12 months of this pandemic. Listen to the Lord through His Word and through prayer, allowing the Holy Spirit to guide each of us in His truth, love, and strength. I'll close with the Apostle Paul's blessing from Romans chapter 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for listening. God bless you, your family, friends, and communities.